But every time I watch this video, I'm just like, yes. Like, yeah. you were living a dream, yeah. and I want to go out and skateboard right now, too. Yeah, and there's I, just, there's it gives just, me the confidence to go out and be like, yeah, I can do this, too. I'm not There's good. very few people where I actively go and look for their stories. Yeah. I'm like, I want to see what you're doing today, because uh, you just end up leaving me a little bit refreshed and yeah. happy. And, you know, I learn so something, or I just laugh along with, with you. Yeah. Yeah. Mary has such a great way to, she like tells stories in a really good way. And I actually learned things from her. I'm mm -hmm. like, how does she do that? Okay, that's interesting, her approach to how she shared that. And yeah. for all I know, Mary is just being completely herself. She has no clue, she has no strategy whatsoever for using social media. But she's just doing it. She's yeah. just doing it. And it's just really great. That's awesome. And it's also just being like, man. Just humans amazing. Mm -hmm. I just love seeing you know, people out there like doing their thing. I just love it. That's I just awesome. think it's great, yeah. Yeah. I really like that you kind of have that like that understanding of and it makes me like rethink like how I approach like my consumption of social media of like how did like when I leave them like what do I feel? Yeah. Like feeling uplifted or do I leave feeling like envious, jealous? Yeah. Because I, I mean I I know there's definitely both and I definitely experience both. But to question like whether I should be following these people from the Yeah, one of jealous. one of the challenges that I usually always give after any one of my talks, mm -hmm. like any presentation I give, it does not matter the topic, that will somebody say, like, what do you think I should do? I'd be like, I think that you should unfollow five people. Oh uh, yeah, I like that, yeah. And I would actually say a lot more, but I don't want to freak people out. Like you need to unfollow, yeah. find five people that are not breathing life into your life. Mm -hmm. Because it is taking away um, it's like the space in your head, this mental real estate mm -hmm. is precious. And if you fill the mental space with other people's voices that are not helping you, like mm -hmm. we need to kick them out, like yeah. evict, evict, evict. Yeah. I think that kind of awareness is beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, I, one thing I do want, I'm not sure if you, if you feel like called to answer this. I can't answer this question, but I mean, how do you think, it, you know, I think social media affects men and women very similarly. Um, but we just talk about it differently. I think men have a lot of the same struggles when it comes to like body image and to all of that, right? Sure. And, like we want to be cool and we want to be like, in Strong. great shape and we, like, all those things. I don't think we talk about it as much. Where I think there's there's there's, there's women who are talking about body positivity and all that, and I, I feel like it, men don't necessarily have that. And so I think because we tend to be a little more closed off, a little more insular, we don't discuss those struggles. And you probably haven't had to for a long time. I mean, you see, us women, we've been dealing with this for a while, mm -hmm. okay? We've been dealing with a lot of different forms of media that we are more prone to. And so, magazines, and you flip through a mag magazine. I mean, there used to be research, now it's obsolete because we don't really do magazines anymore. But there is research that says that after looking through, you know, fashion magazines, beauty magazines, women would feel, young girls and women, would feel about 59% worse than when they oh, began wow. looking at that magazine, okay? Well, that was decades ago. <clears throat> now we've got social media. So us ladies, um, we know what you're talking about. We understand the struggle of being on any type of form of um, media and then having, like, having yourself just, you just feel, you know, really bad about yourself afterwards. And I think that's something new for men because um, men engaging now on all these digital platforms, it's starting to, you're starting to kind of get a peek into really what women have been doing for a very long time for a lot of, in a lot of different ways. Um, it's something that we have to be careful with. It's something that obviously, I mean, I know we know that you have to guard yourself. So no one's going to take the phone out of your hand, yes. right? No one's gonna take the phone out of your hand. No one's going to tell you, stop scrolling, or maybe your spouse will, I don't know. Like, you know, Hopefully. make dinner, Hopefully. do something, yeah. stop looking at your phone. Okay, can I get you guys just against this wall for me real quick? Everyone over there? Everyone on this wall for me? Just like against that side's fine. Look at your hoodie. Look at Bridget and Durham. Bridget. Look at your hoodie. Because I'm going to be walking backwards, and then I'm going to... Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, actually... Everyone, we're, John's going to be walking backwards this way, so and you and you can yeah. look that so way. Far, yeah. So just kind of like in your hand. Or yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's perfect. Okay. Yeah, we're we're stopping before that. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Action. You're good. You're just against the walls. Yeah. Action. Nice. There we go. I don't know.
back up into here. Cool. Okay. Cool. Uh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now we have some character. <laughs> there you go. Cool. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Got yeah. it. It's perfect. Yeah, that's good. We did it. Thank you. Oh, we did it. We did it. We did it. Yeah. We did it.